Have you ever been to the valleys of the Alps, and mainly to the Swiss Confederation? The Alps valleys have been inhabited since prehistoric times. Transhumance is central to the Alpine culture that developed there. Who doesn't know that Switzerland is known as the land of mountains, chocolates, and fine watches? Chocolate lovers must know that Switzerland produces the world's best chocolate products. Anyways, first let us have some interesting facts about this exceptionally beautiful place. Make sure you're subscribed as we travel through Switzerland. Also, along with that, make sure to turn on the notifications so you never miss a journey with us. Switzerland is recognized for its mountains, chocolate, and fine watches, but there is so much more to this lovely country. From nuclear bunkers to Swiss palm trees, you're going to have an adorable ride to this country. Switzerland is a small mountainous country in the heart of Europe. This landlocked country, roughly the size of New Jersey, is located between France and Italy. It also shares borders with Austria, Germany, and Liechtenstein. The plateau, which lies between the high Alps in the south and the Jura Mountains in the north, is home to the majority of the population. The southern mountainous region is sparsely populated. Culture and People Switzerland is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Swiss watches and clocks are well known worldwide. Switzerland does not have a single official language. People communicate in a variety of languages, including Swiss German, French, and Italian. Nature The Swiss Alps are a range of high, snow-covered mountains, the majority of which rise above 13,000 feet. The Matterhorn, at 14,692 feet, is the most famous peak, but the highest peak is Dufferspitz, at 15,203 feet. Scientists are worried that glaciers in the Swiss Alps have lost a significant amount of ice over the last 40 years. This could be linked to global climate change. Rapid glacier melting could cause flooding in the villages below. The mountains are home to the majority of Switzerland's animals. In the early 1800s, the ibex, a type of mountain goat, was hunted to near extinction. Since then, the species has been reintroduced and there are now over 15,000 ibex in the Swiss Alps. Hikers may also come across the chamois, a goat-like animal, and marmots. Deer, rabbits, foxes, badgers, squirrels, and numerous bird species live in Switzerland's forests. Government The country is divided into 26 cantons, or states, that comprise the confederation. The president is the government's leader. The federal assembly elects the president and vice president from the federal council. They're appointed for a one-year term. Typically, elections are held in December. Can representatives are elected to the assembly for four-year terms. History Switzerland was founded in 1291 as a union of three states, and it gained independence in 1815. The 1848 constitution prohibits troops from being sent to fight in foreign wars. The country has remained neutral in global conflicts, including both world wars. Switzerland did not join the United Nations until 2002 and does not belong to the European Union. You guys will be glad to know some fun facts about this small country and hope that your country should have these things. Number 1. Switzerland's nuclear shelters can accommodate the entire population. Switzerland is the greatest spot to be if nuclear violence ever occurs. The country is well fully ready with nuclear fallout temporary shelters large enough to house the entire Swiss population. Everyone is even mandated by law to have entry to one of these fully armed refuges in their building or a nearby building. The Swiss Army also maintains fully equipped ordnance bomb shelters, which you may not observe. They are typically camouflaged as captivating country homes and the hearts of villages. Number 2. Animals have rights Switzerland is an animal-loving nation with so many laws designed to protect their four-legged friend's rights. Dogs are allowed in restaurants and can eat there as well, while owners of certain pets must complete a course on how to care for them. There are also laws requiring social animals to be kept in pairs. So, if one of your guinea pigs dies, you must replace it with another. You can even rent guinea pigs until one of them dies. In 2010, the Swiss held a referendum on whether animals should have lawyers, 
which was defeated. Number 3. The Swiss really do love chocolate. Switzerland has long been known for its high quality chocolate, but do you know how much they consume? One of the most delicious facts about Switzerland is that the Swiss are the world's largest chocolate consumers. In 2018, they consumed 10.3 kilograms per person. Number 4. Switzerland has palm trees. Switzerland has palm trees, which is one of the strangest facts about the country. That's not what you'd expect from a country known for its snow-capped Alps. Despite this, the country's incredibly diverse geography provides several microclimates in which tropical plants can thrive. Palm trees and other tropical species can be found in the warmer southern alpine regions such as the palm-lined lakes of Ticino. Do you know that the process of state formation in the Alps was driven by the proximity to focal areas of European conflicts such as in the Italian Wars of 1494 to 1559? In that period, the socio-political structures of the Alpine regions drifted apart. One can identify three different developmental models, one of princely centralization in the Western Alps, a local communal one, Switzerland, and an intermediate one, characterized by a powerful nobility in the Eastern Alps. If you want to explore more about the mountainous country, then let us get started and watch the whole video to explore Switzerland. Central Alps The main event in the Central Alps on the northern side of the chain is the gradual formation of the Swiss Confederacy from 1291 to 1516, at least in terms of the mountain cantons, and with special reference to the independent confederations of the Grissons and the Valai, which only became full members of the confederation in 1803 and 1815 respectively. The South Salur was too strong for both the Forest Cantons and the Grissons, so both attempted and succeeded in securing various swaths of the Milanese. Because of the obstruction of the Shulanen Gorge north of the pass, the Goddard Pass was not one of the important Alpine passes in prehistory. By the year 1230, the construction of the so-called Devil's Bridge had changed everything. Almost immediately in 1231, the previously unimportant Uri Valley was given empire urgency and became the normal avenue linking Germany and Italy. In 1230, a range of services devoted solely to Goddard of Hildesheim was constructed on the pass to cater to the travelers who now took this route to Rome. The rapid political significance attained by what is now central. Are you now fascinated? Did you enjoy this adorable and charming ride? You must have because Switzerland has enough potential to make you curious. Make sure you're subscribed, as we will be traveling through more such amazing places. Also, along with that, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a journey with us.